Imagine a hot summer day, sweat dripping from your brow and your shirt sticking to your skin. To cool off, you decide to go to a nearby lake. To your unpleasant surprise, you see that the once pristine lake is now polluted with green scum. Sadly, this occurrence is becoming more common because excess nutrients like nitrogen leach from agricultural soil and accumulate in nearby bodies of water. Unfortunately, nitrogen-rich fertilizers produced in industrial settings are required in large amounts in order to enhance crop growth and productivity. The production of these fertilizers is not only energetically, but also economically costly. The, sorry. Uh, yeah, the production of these is not only energetically costly, but also economically costly. Um, um, yeah, I'm blanking out. Uh, <laughs> this is really embarrassing. But yeah, um, so yeah, they're energetically costly. And so one of the best ways to try to mitigate this issue is to enhance the uh, uh, nitrogen use efficiency of crops. And so one of the ways we can target this is by um, looking at root hair traits. So I study root hairs and traits that can helpfully improve uh, a plant's ability to uh, use and um, capture nitrate more efficiently. And we target root hairs because they're involved in the acquisition and the sensing of key nutrients like nitrate. My research shows that a key nitrate transporter known as NRT 1.1a is expressed in root hairs. Interestingly, this um, root hair gene known as buzz is also expressed in root hairs. To uh, figure out the function of this gene, we looked at a mutant that's defective in root hairs, and we can see that aside from having no root hairs, it also has a uh, pretty long root hair length, or primary root hair, or primary, a longer root hair, uh, primary root, sorry. Um, so, and so um, to to, um, yeah, so, um, to, um, so this phenotype is quite interesting because um, it, not, it not only has a longer primary root, but it also enhances the number of lateral roots and a more branch root system. And so um, this response in this mutant is not only uh, unique, but also interesting because it allows for an increase in nitrogen capture. And so um, by studying this trait and uh, we can hopefully engineer crops that are much more efficient at enhancing um, nitrate uptake, and uh, hopefully um, we can move towards a more sustainable agriculture without sacrificing agricultural yield. And this will hopefully increase um, or maintain our lakes clean for us to enjoy on hot summer days. Thank you.